Okay guys, so welcome back after a, a little bit longer <laughs> or matagal-tagal na production vacation. Muling nagbabalik ang T4 Gadget Show. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. uh, before that, uh, we would like to officially welcome you to our uh, pilot episode for the season two of T4 Gadget Show. We, we are, are the Philippine Tech Show. I, I'm Peter of GizGuide.com. Woo, we're back now. <laughs> so I'm Bam of Adobo Tech. Uh, I'm Angie of TechnoGadget.com. And uh, ako yung bagong miyembro na Welcome, welcome. Welcome! <laughs> welcome. <laughs> Rafi and your street of Tech Patrol and our new guy here, oh, yeah. uh, Angie Delos Reyes. Pag binasa niyo yung email, parang pabahin, pero... Yeah, talaga talaga. Long hair lang. <laughs> okay, okay, guys, so ang una nating pag-uusapan sa ating first episode na comparison ng device, ang uh, unang pag-uusapan natin ay yung Samsung Galaxy S21. Ang unang nating pag-uusapan sa ating first episode na comparison ng device, we have here the newly launched... Uh, oh, dude! <laughs> <laughs> the like newly launched, uh, last week lang to, the launch ng Lenovo K6 Note. Yep. Uh, continuation ng K-Series ng Lenovo. Mm-hmm. And... Uh, This one uh, is the... Arsenal VR1, uh, VR-centric smartphone from the newcomer Arsenal. Right, so this is a new kit on the block. So, according to sa, ano natin, sa format ng ating uh, comparison, comparison mm-hmm. tayo sa specs, design, uh, camera, camera, software, software, and then price. Price, so, yes. Okay, so, umpisa na tayo kay Bam, ano, ano ang uh, pagmamalaki nitong Lenovo K6, uh, okay. Mr. Bang Amor. So the K6 now features a 5.5 inch uh, mm-hmm. full HD yeah. with wide angle. Mm-hmm. Tapos, uh, ano wide angle? Wide, kasi... Wide display. In display. Ah, okay. So, at 4.01. 4.01 pixel per inch. And 2.5D curve mm-hmm. glass. So, yeah, 2.5 curve. For yeah. yeah. mm-hmm. protection, walang naka-indicate ko. So, hindi natin, we're not Sigurado. sure if uh, there is a Gorilla Glass or Gorilla Glass or whatever, whatever protection. Uh, and, the Arsenal VR1 has a 5.2 inch JDI LTTS <coughs> display. It also has a full HD resolution. Mm-hmm. It also has a 2.5D glass and it has a Corning Gorilla Glass 3 for protection. What about the chipset? Uh, okay. So, the Lenovo K6 Note is powered by 1.4 GHz na Qualcomm Snapdragon 430. It's an octa-core CPU also. Yes. Yeah. 64-bit then. 64-bit then. Yeah. What about... Uh, yes, sir. Of course, this one is also powered by 64-bit octa-core processor. But this time, it uses a uh, MediaTek MT653. Yeah. A little bit older chipset. Yes. A little bit older. But still an octa core. Yes. Yeah. 64 okay. bit and still Cortex 853. Right. So let's talk about the graphics. The graphics. This one's a Adreno 505. Uh-huh. And, uh, this one is a tri core Mali T720. Oh. I'm not sure about the graphics. The technical of the GPU. More on the games or. For my you know, experience, uh, the Adreno 505 performs better in gaming. Yeah. Has less heating compared to uh, Mali T720. Okay, so let's go on details later, later on. But uh, ba, ano yung ano niya? Uh, ROM and RAM. So, okay, yung RAM na ito is 4 gigabyte. Uh-huh. And I mean, then, okay. So, for the storage, man, it got 32 gigabyte. Uh-huh. Expandable to, DJ. Uh, 256 gig. Alright, so the expansion slot, is it a uh, hybrid or dedicated one? It's a hybrid. 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 So, ito. Sir, syempre, ito meron din siyang 32 gig. 32 gigs na ROM na. Ano ang ROM? Yung ROM is a 3GB ROM. 3GB ROM. Okay. But it, the, the 32 gig is expandable. Like expandable. Uh, using a uh, micro SD card. card. Uh, mm-hmm. Using the uh, SIM 2 slot. Uh, so, para yung side reads. Okay. Side okay. Side okay. So, uh, what about the battery? This one is equipped with a 4,000 mAh of battery. Maliit. Maliit. Maliit siya. Oh, well, yet 4,000. Dito, tamtaman lang. Kasi 5.2 inch lang siya. Hindi uh-huh. kailangan lagi lang masyadong malaking bateria. Okay. This one has a 2,800 mAh lithium polymer. 2,800 mAh battery. Yes. And both are non-removable batteries. Yes, non-removable. Mm-hmm. So, what about the 
about the battery, uh, ito pa may quick charging yung K6, no? Well, wala na ka-indicate, no? So, I believe mukhang wala, wala. yata. Wala. So, standard charging siya? Yes. Ah, pero yung standard charging niya is still faster than the Kasi normal yung... standard charging. Okay. Kasi it has a 2 amps charging. Amps charging. charging. So, yung... Gano'n mo mataan mapupuno, katagal mapupuno yung... Estimate, um, around 2.75 hours. Estimate. 3 hours. Estimate what yun. about, uh, sir? Walang ano yan? Walang fast charging? Wala. Wala. Ito. Wala rin ito. Wala rin ito. Kasi <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hindi supported ng chipset yung uh, system. Uh, okay. Pero, given that this one has a smaller battery capacity, mas mabilis na po. Uh, mabilis na yung maubos. Yeah. Not necessarily. Not necessarily. Kung hindi mo naman gagamitin, eh, bakit maubos? Ilan lang estimate battery cap life na ito? Oh. Yung VR1. Hindi uh, ko rin sure eh, pero... So, tingin ko yung mga 2,800 mga... Good for one day? Oh, less than Iyabot school. Iyabot ng one day. Iyabot ng one day. Iyabot ng one day. Iyabot ng mga eight hours. Ganun. So far from this phone, uh, maabot ako ng mga one week. <laughs> one week na nasa bad stand. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so, so anyway. there you go. The specs. Uh, LTE? Yung... May LTE ba ito? LTE. Yep. LTE, of course, syempre. Yeah. This yeah. also has LTE and LTE. LTE. Wow. Fingerprint LTE. sensor is mounted in the front. Ito sa likuran? Nasa likod? So it depends yeah. on your preference. Ito, ito yung mga gusto. Ito yung mga tayo dito. Fingerprint scanner kasi ako gusto ko nasa likod. Ako rin sa likod? Ako rin sa likod. Ayaw niya nasa harap. Pero sana yan din siya eh. Sana yan siya eh. So kahit ano, okay lang. Advantage nito, alam ko, ito meron itong built-in hi-fi chip. Ito, meron siyang software. Dolby Atmos. Dolby Atmos. Dolby Atmos versus Hi-Fi na built-in yes. chip. Built so, Hi-Fi built-in chip pero walang software. So, ito meron. Uh, I think, nadadala ng hardware naman yun. Yeah. Uh, so, so, I think, medyo naman na konti si the other one. for the user that want to enjoy that uh, uh, magandang audio quality, kailangan mo na magandang Kamit ka rin na magandang yes, headphones sure. or yeah. in-ear monitors. Right. So, ano pa sa specs ang pag-usapan natin, DJ? So far, sa camera, so far, uh, camera. We, camera. we'll discuss it later. Namaya, discuss natin namaya yung yeah, camera. We have a separate section for Yung OS, discuss din natin namaya. Okay. Pero so far, that's it for the specs right now. Okay, so... Ay, I, I, I want to also regret, parehas may gyroscope sensor. Na yeah. Very yeah. important. Yeah. Especially this VR. one is a VR-ready uh, smartphone. This is actually VR-centric. VR-centric. They're selling it... Mainly for VR. Mainly for VR. And that's why yep. it's called VR1. Alright. Again, as a recap, uh, the... Arsenal VR1 sports a 5.2 JDI full HD display powered by 1.3 GHz octa-core processor coupled with a 3 GB RAM and 32 GB of internal storage. It also has a fingerprint scanner, 2800 mAh battery, and of course, a hi-fi chip. Well, the K6 Note uh, comes with 5.5 inch full HD, uh, 401 PPI or pixel per inch, uh, with a Breno 505. 4 gig of RAM, 32 gigabytes of storage, and of course, siyempre, 4,000 milliampere. No? Meron din siyang Dolby Atmos, FM radio, and fingerprint sensor is up on the back. Alright, so in terms of specs, sino na nanalo? Uh, for me, it's the Lenovo K6 Note. Yep. Why? The processor is much newer, mas mm -hmm. maganda yung kanyang performance, and mas maganda ang GPU. While the Arsenal VR1 is using a, it's using a slightly uh, lower chip clock lower and older lower chipset, so mm -hmm. it's a little dated. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's a little dated. So, uh, tayo? performance. Performance. So, in terms of, I think it's a performance, din naman siya uh, uh, medyo, uh, older chipset. Siguro kung ano, ang argument is light usage. Lang. For example, kung daily use. Of daily use of Facebook, Facebook, casual user. Casual yes. user. Uh, You're talking about me. Facebook or Instagram. Uh -huh. I, don't, they, I don't play games. Uh -huh. uh, pero if you play games, dun mo mararamdaman ang yes. difference nila. Kasi this is, is using a higher end uh, graphics and processor. Yeah. So in the end, mas malaki pa yung RAM. And then, yeah. mas malaki yung RAM. Okay. Okay. So, so in the end, uh, smoother siya. There you go. Boto. Boto. Boto na natin. In terms of specs, uh, K6. Siyempre, uh, K6. And R, uh, Arsenal VR1. Arsenal VR1. Room 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 Next one that we're going to talk about is the design and build. The design and build. We'll talk about the design and build of these right. phones. Okay, let me start. Check it. <laughs> okay, <laughs> alam mo yung uh, guys yung VR one has a very beautiful design. Uh, yung back niya is full metal all throughout metal yan. Kaya lang or nakikita mo lang yung uh, antenna band yan. But it is uh, full metal 
uh, mat ang finish niya. Mat ang finish. Okay? So, sigurado kang walang fingerprint uh, smudges na matitira dito. Okay? Kaya lang, medyo squarish. Squarish ka? Squarish siya. Uh, unang tingin, wala yung logo. Parang P9. Mama kang P10. Mama P10 <laughs> ng Huawei. Mama P10. So, pero overall, yung build niya, maganda. So, yung nasabi ko talaga, Uh, kung titignan mo siya, napaka-premium yung build. Mm. Uh, premium build. Solid yung pagkakagawa sa body. Tapos yung glass niya sa harapan, talagang naka 2.5 din siya. So, full lang siya, full slab. Mm. So yung buong, buong frame, frame yung buong front, may glass siya. May glass, okay. ganda. What about the K6 PJ? Uh, the little of the K6 note, uh, this is an average type of build na we normally see on common mid-rangers today. Pero di siyang almost full metal build dahil kany plastic in kanyang top, yep. plastic in kanyang below, pero bakal lang kanyang frame. Uh, curvy design. Ibig sabihin nun, ma-curve talaga siya. Edges pati curve. edges niya mm-hmm. curve, pati yung back niya curve. Mm-hmm. Although may konting protrusion sa kanyang camera mm-hmm. na pwedeng magasgas pag nakalapag ng gano'n sa ibang edges. Pero normally, it's okay lang naman. Mag-case ka lang. Mm-hmm. That's it. The kapal, hindi siya ganun masyadong makapal. Ito yung kubit na meron siyang Big 4,000 mAh of mm-hmm. battery. Hindi siya ganun kakapal. Parang tama lang sa kamay. Nagagawa na nila ng panel. Oo, nagawa na. Oo, kaya na eh. Capacity, manipis. Dati, pag malaki yung battery capacity, makapal din talaga yung phone. And then we also like na hindi ganun kalaki ang kanyang tinatawag na black border bezels. Yung bezels. Oo, kasi sa iba, annoying yun eh. Pag ganun kakapal dito. Pag nakita. Sweetang sweetang agad. Yan, yan. Yan, halos parehas lang. Malamang na konti itong isa. Pero... The point is, maliit pa din kanya yung bezels. Okay. And then even at 5.5 inches, hindi siya ganun kalaki tingnan. Parang kung parang kung kung yeah. And then the weight is not heavy. Not heavy. Correct. Hindi siya fatiguing sa kamay. So for me, this is a great It's design. around 169 grams. Great yeah. design. 2.5D curved glass mm-hmm. na yung kanyang screen. Great design for a mid-ranger. Yun nga lang, mid-ranger. Mid-ranger. Mm-hmm. Butuhan na natin. So in terms of design and build, uh, upisa tayo sa Arsenal VR1. Up ako dun? Ako medyo. So, kasi I'm not a fan of the square inch design. Mm-hmm. And what about the K6? K6, uh, for me, it's like this. Sakto lang. Sakto lang? Ah, sakto lang. Sakto lang, sakto May lang. May parang... Hindi, kasi the, lang, common, common. Common. The, the design is too common. Right. Uh, tama ka, Rafi, na nakita na natin ito sa ibang phones. Mm-hmm. Maybe except for the camera protrusion. Right. Pero... Yeah, may just standard yung kanyang okay, so in terms design. of design analysis si, uh, VR1 VR1 mas mapas bago yung itsura mm-hmm. uh, mas premium yung build mas refreshing mas uh, premium yung build mas premium ang dati yeah. yan okay. okay so next moving on well, let's talk about the uh, software and uh, interface yeah so the uh, VR1 uh, uses uh, standard stock Android it runs so on Android uh, 6.0 March mm-hmm. March model natin So, very specific lang yung mga apps na naka-install sa kanya. Mostly uh, Android or Google apps. Google apps. Uh, walang bloatware. No bloatware. And uh, since you mentioned with this as uh, stock Android, out of the 30, 32 gigs of uh, storage, ilan pa yung natitira sa kanya? Uh, meron pa siyang around 25. 25 gigs. So, so, plenty. Yeah, mm-hmm. so around 7 gig is consumed by the apps and uh, system software apps. system. Impressive. What about the bang? What new K6? Uh, okay, no? so the K6 is also run on Android 6.0 Marshmallow. No? So, Parehas. Parehas, pero hindi siya stuck tulad nung K... Anong pangalan? K- K- VR1. VR1. <laughs> <laughs> VR1. So, anyway, you will see the signature uh, Lenovo design in this one. So, Um, simple at the same time kung maga fluid din naman siya ano, Android 6.0 and uh, kung tatanungin mo Ravi no, kung ilan yung storage no, I can right. see from here na from the around kung maga doon sa 32, 32 ang natira dito it's a 23 or around 24 24 gig mm. lamang ito ng lamang na 1 gig pero in the place of, in the placement of those, mm. that 1 gig meron siyang team center yeah. for personalization uh, camera software is better mm-hmm. And you also have other customizable applications here mm-hmm. and so settings more, more for gestures. Skin. And skin. 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 Yeah. Na para gumanda yung your experience overall. Right. So in terms of UI and uh, software, uh, K6, no? 
it's I like still, uh, okay. sorry still comes to preference because for me oh. I like the stock Android because bahala ka na magdagdag ano gusto mo kasi as Android you can just download anything you want for me naman dahil medyo tamad akong type of user I want something na ready na right off the bat pagka open ko okay na siya agad pwede may choices na ano gusto mo may choices na agad kung ano yung gusto mong I think most of the users ganun naman so they don't want to if you're targeting the one point ko rin naman dito kasi lagi ko sinasabi sa vlog sa vlog ko sa technogadget dot ko lagi sinasabi na yung UI or proprietary UI ng mga brands parang identification nila yun kung ano yung gusto nila So, hindi man para sa lahat, pero marami pa rin nakaka-appreciate. Mm-hmm. Totoo yun. Totoo yun. Mm-hmm. Saka yun yung ano nila, yung uh, signature. 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 Yeah. Identity nga nung Identity. Uh, in terms of software. Ito okay. yung ano So, uh, depende kung sino yung bumibili at tumitingin. Uh, mm-hmm. Dito pagdating sa UI and yeah. uh, software ng dalawang devices na to. So, well, let's vote. Let's vote. Uh, K6 Note UI and software. I like it. I like it. Okay. What about uh, VR1? Okay, so oh, medyo ako ako. medyo sa VR1. Gusto ko na lang yung may skin. Mm-hmm. Uh, so there so guys, uh, next uh, next up is the camera comparison. Mm-hmm. Uh, tingin ko, okay ba kasi yung megapixel ng yeah. dalawa. No? So, uh, yung K6 Note ba has 16 megapixels F2.2. at on the rear. F2.2. Yep. Our device here, Angie has. This one has a 13 megapixel Samsung. Uh, Samsung. Huh? Oh, camera sensor. Camera. Mm-hmm. And the front one is also an 8 megapixel like the Pareho. K6. Yeah, 8 Which megapixels is, uh, on the K6 Note. K6 Note and 8, 8 megapixels. megapixels. Both are fixed focus mm-hmm. camera here. Okay. So, um, inote lang natin na hindi ibig sabihin na mas malaki yung kanyang megapixels is mas maganda na siya agad. Nasa actual pa rin siyang paggamit talaga. Mm-hmm. Doon natin makikita kung sino. So, earlier, like we were, what we were saying, tinest namin yung camera nilang dalawa to, to see kung sino yung mas maganda. So, let's start with the rear camera. Bam! So, um, I think tinest na namin ito kanina. Hindi pala. Hindi, yeah, kanina. Hindi. Hindi natin maganda. Pakita na namin siya. Uh, so, tinest natin ito kanina. We already, so, had a... we already have a pre-shoot kanina. Tinest na namin yung Camera. Oh, so, ito yung taken yung, using with the Lenovo and then taken using the Arsenal VR1. Uh, sa sharpness, medyo on, on the first look, parang parehas lang. Parehas diba? lang. Sharpness. Pero sa kulay, nagkaiba. Kulay, mas uh, totoo yung kulay ng no, uh, Lenovo. No, mas saturated, saturated siya. Saturated. Siya. saturated. Ito, mas mas flat. Medyo flat. flat. Mm-hmm. flat. Wash ng konti. Mm-hmm. Blown out ng konti yung highlights. Pero, Pero so, parehas, pare naman. Ano, okay yung nasa. Parehas, okay yung nasa picture. Pero pag zoom natin yan, sa zoom, doon medyo nakatalo eh, no? Mas foggy ako dito. Teka, teka. Sino ba ang papakita natin? Si ano? Mas foggy siya dito. Mas foggy ako doon. Oh. Oh, di pa nalo ang Lenovo. John Ayan, Lennon. Lennon. <laughs> John, John Lennon, Joey Marquez. Joey Marquez. Ayan, ayan, ayan. So, wash out ito. Wash out, wash out. And slightly sharper ito. No? Pag zoom natin. And then, the, okay. Selfie. Selfie. How about the selfie okay. camera? So, sa so selfie naman, syempre, since tapos na yung dalawa, kami naman. Kami naman. naman. Kasi, lugi naman. Yeah. Lugi naman. Yeah. Oh, so. so, ito yung selfie performance natin. As oh, you can see. Same ang result. Mm-hmm. Mas saturated. Mm-hmm. Mas real color. This one is medyo washed out. Washed out. Pero the difference is wider angle. Si wider si angle ng camera. Arsene. Ibig sabihin ng wider angle. Maraming mas... uh, taong magkakasya. Oh, Oo. Oh. Kung nag-groofy kayo, mas maraming kasya sa Arsenal. The problem is, maybe grainy siya. Eh, no? Grainy. Medyo. Grainy and so, washed. This one naman is a little bit sharper and has some more accurate color tone. Right. So, Rafi, tingin mo? Sa so, tingin ko, ito na lang. Obvious so, na. Parang sa akin din ito rin. Kulay. Kulay. Uh, yes. Yun nga lang, hindi kayo marami. Pero pwede na rin. Kamay lang. Kaya nga, well, gusto kong magsarili. <laughs> Tsaka selfie. 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 Kaya nga sinatawag na selfie. Uh, okay. So, there you go. So, for the front, na tayo. Sa back camera. Back camera. Back camera. camera. And front camera is... K6? K6, K6. K6, no? K6. Front and back. Front? Uh, what about the Arsenal? Okay lang siya. Okay, okay, okay lang. Okay lang. Okay lang. Okay lang. It's not bad. That's so good. That's so good. good. Okay. Okay lang. So there we go. Uh, next? Next, we'll talk about the uh, price. Most important <laughs> for consumer. Hindi ba natin pag-uusapan ng battery? 
Siguro sa battery, no contest na. Okay. Kasi 4,000. Na-discuss nila natin sa specs. Hindi. Kasi Highlight niya. Maliit na yung battery, 4,000. Hindi, kasi pag na-discuss natin yung battery dito, wala naman tayong proof na yun talaga yung ano. Unless, na-review mo na yung unit mo na meron ka ng basis kung ano. Okay. Kaya sa specs na kaya. Okay, so the last part of the segment, the last part in our segment is Presyo. Presyo. So, Angie, magkano yan? Magkantay ko. So, the Arsenal Gear 1 is now available at one2shop.com That's one2shop.com It's an online store and also through offline sa mga Memo Express stores. This one is Retails for one eleven thousand nine hundred ninety. Eleven thousand nine hundred ninety. Yes, just ten pesos shy for ten thousand, and it comes with a free soft or jelly case, and there's also a free VR box. Or di ko lang siya dala pero may mga sama siya na foldable. Foldable VR headset. VR box that you can use and carry around sa kung saan kamo pumunta. Kasi natutupi siya kasi sa notebook. Kasi sa mga, hindi siya nagtitake up ng much space Unlike sa mga regular na carbon or VR headsets 11,990 for this phone With free VR box and jelly case What about the K6 Note guys? K6 Note is priced at 11,999 Mas mahal siya na 9 pesos pero mas mura talaga siya Mas mura siya Why? Medyo weird, di ba? Mas mura siya ng 9 pesos, pero mas mura siya overall. Why? Meron siya libre yung Bluetooth headset. Magkano ang mga Bluetooth headset ngayon? Easily around 2,000 pesos. And then the other one is meron din siya ang kasamang case. May case siya. Aside from that, the specs is much higher compared to the VR1. On paper, ah. What about that is the RAM, no? RAM, 4 gig RAM. And then the processor, this one is equipped with a newer processor. Equipped with a better GPU, and then equipped with better cameras, bigger battery capacity. And guess what? Sabi namin na mas malas na nine pesos pero mas mura sa overall. Hindi lang yun, so availability. Ah, tama kami yan. So ayon. So kahit sa ang Lenovo store nationwide, pwede mo siyang mabili. So hindi ka lang magdetepend, magahanap ka lang ng ano yung store niya. So hindi mo na wag mo na alamin yung. So dito sa Lenovo lang, punta ka lang sa store nando nito. Nando nito siya again. To add to that, the Lenovo K6 uh, Note can be bought through uh, Lazada. Uh, no, no, no. Zero interest. Zero, Zero interest. interest for six months. If you have major credit cards, mm -hmm. you can uh, get this on an installment basis. No, okay. Also yeah. with Flexi Plan. Flexi Plan. Like credit card. Yeah. Credit card. Yeah. So surprising, so, ang analo ay ang Lenovo K6 Note. K6 Note ako. K6 Note. K6 Note. Uh, Arsenal VR1. Medyo ganito ako. Medyo. Alanganin yung presyo niya. So, medyo tagilid ako. Ako ganito. Okay. Why? Ang komentari ko dyan, bago lang kasi si, ano guys, si Arsenal VR1. Pero kahit tinanda ko na brand, ano, brand perception. Pag yan dalawang yan, pinagtabi mo sa tindahan sa mall, on the spot, bibigyan yung Lenovo. Mapapansin kasi agad na nalinovo. Yung Arsenal, ba? Mukhang bagay na ano ba yun. And also... On top of that, the specs eh, no? Right. And kailangan siguro may O-plan pakilala sila on the price. Tama. Tama. Si Angie, ano yung daan? So tingin mo, anong magandang pricing para dyan? Pero sa mga ganito, mga less than 10K should be the... So 9,990. 9,990. Sa akin, fine yung 9,990 kung gano'n yung presyo niya. Baka may laban. Ako kasi tingin ko, 8,990. 9,000. Kasi... You are a new brand, and you are introducing your introducing your first device in the market. So, kailan para may introduction? Pakinala, no? Pakinala. Yeah, kasi sayang eh, maganda yung brand. Kailan kailan? Maganda yung brand. Kailan kailan? Kailan kailan? Kasi gusto niya lang i-market to as a high end, agad na premium brand. You remember yung nung pagpasok ni Xiaomi sa Philippines? Mula nung price niya, nagkaroon na ano na high. Disrupted yung market. Maybe it's going to depend on the marketing strategy. Let's see if it will work. Hopefully it will work, but for us, it's a little bit more than the price. Overall, it's not a bad device. It's not a bad device. It's a pretty nice device. It's a great design. It's a design. It's capable specs. There you go. So, our overall winner is... Of course, our overall winner is the Lenovo K6 Note. 
available now in stores. 11,999. Click a bang. Piso. Pero if you need that smaller phone and gusto mo design, pwede ka marami VR1. Okay din naman siya. So that's our pilot episode. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for guys for watching. Once again, this is Angie of Technogadget. Yes, I'm Bam of Adobo Tech. I'm Peter of GizGuy.com. And on behalf of Irwin of Sterling over Coffee, this is Spidey of Tech Control. See you in our next episode. Bye!